We've got some bright blue skies out there today, and it's warm too. Temperatures have gotten into the lower and middle 70s across much of Western Mass. As we take a look out from our Agawam Sky Cam, you can see really there's not a cloud in the sky. And heading to your 24, we're actually expecting clouds to gradually begin to increase later on tonight. So it's a clear start to the evening. Temperatures may dip quickly, but then they'll steady out. So you can see at 8 p.m. we're already down to 60, even some upper 50s. But then we don't really cool off much more after that because of the cloud cover that's building in. So temps tonight only make it into the lower and middle 50s for our lows. There is a weak cold front passing by right around sunrise tomorrow morning, and it could put down a sprinkle or maybe a brief shower. Very hit or miss, as you can see here, very short lived. By 8 a.m., skies are clearing back out again. We'll go partly cloudy and then quickly mostly sunny. Once the sun is out in full force, temperatures start warming up fast, just like today. So at 11 a.m., 65 in Northampton, 64 in Spring field and in Pittsfield and we go into the early afternoon and we should get back into the low to mid 70s. Now at this point another cold front comes in and this one's going to be you know more of the weather maker. Mind you there's not much weather coming in with this one. It's more of a wind shift than anything else but there may be an isolated shower or a weak thunderstorm that crops up roughly between 2 and about 5 p.m. I think once we're past 5 p.m. we're pretty much done with any wet weather. Wind shifts out of the northwest and starts ushering in cooler temperatures. So so tonight we'll have patchy clouds, so it's not going to be as cool. And, you know, the fog did that for us last night. And then tomorrow, highs back to the low to mid-70s. Even though we'll have patchy clouds in the morning and later in the afternoon, we're still expecting quite a bit of sunshine. Dew points are going to stay on the comfortable side, but it may feel just a touch muggy at times on Friday as dew points creep up into the middle and upper 50s. But then they plummet. We're back to the 30s, so very dry air coming our way for the weekend. If we can get light enough wind, especially Saturday night, widespread frost is looking very likely. And then early next week, dew points climb a little bit, but we're still not really expecting any wet weather until this time next week. So your next weather maker has very little to no detail to it, but it is looking a little bit soggier now as we go into Thursday evening and then possibly continuing out through Friday morning with our next cold front. Something to watch. I know that looks very robust right now, but it's a week away, so I'm sure it'll change. So go into your 10-day forecast. We got a lot of of dry weather on tap. For tomorrow, there's only a very low risk for a shower. It's mostly around sunrise or between about 2 and 5 p.m. Otherwise, breezy, 74 degrees and even feeling a little muggy at times. But Friday night, a dramatic shift. We'll be blustery, wind gusts out of the northwest, maybe 20, 25 miles an hour, and temperatures drop to the low 40s by Saturday morning. Partly cloudy Saturday, still a little breezy, 57. We're back to 62 Sunday and 65 Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday both looking dry and fairly pleasant, even Wednesday close to 70. We're warm again for Thursday with scattered showers looking possible. And then once that cold front passes through, rain will come to an end and we will end the week with cooler temperatures.